Wanna Be That Song by Brett Eldridge right here on 89.5 of The Wave. That's right, we are back and we have got this to do. We got too many segments and now we gotta hype them all. All aboard the hype train. Hype, hype. That is right, we are hyping up that train. And the train today is dropping us off some of relevant news. So stay tuned for that. But first, we got... Ninja Sex Party would take on me right here on 89.5 The Wave. This is the Irrelevant News Desk with the Doug Brooks and the Morning Show. That is correct. And uh, paper, please. Thank you. Musician, oh wait, happy birthday to musician Bradford Morales, who is 56, Melissa McCarthy, who is 46, Macaulay Culkin, who is 36, Chris Pine from Star Trek is 36, and Evan Ross from Hunger Games Mockingjay is 28. A hobby treasure hunter in Australia has found a 9-pound gold nugget worth $190. Thousand dollars. He said th- he said that it was an answer to his prayers. He can finally afford an EpiPen because I don't know. I don't get that one. Anyway, Touch ID from Apple is a great way to safeguard your device, and a newly filed patent suggests it will also be able to help catch thieves. A patent named Biomedic Capture for Unauthorized User Identification is pretty straightforward. If Touch ID detects a fingerprint that isn't yours, it'll store the image on the scans, which means it's catching whoever may have stolen your phone. It may also take their picture or video of them trying to hack your device. So Apple, you have yourselves a little bit of a leeway there. Again, so congratulations, I guess. Are in order. I just got a paper cut. That's going to hurt for a while. A politician in Norway was caught playing Pokemon Go during a foreign affairs and defense meeting. She was asked the asked a question and turned back to her game. So, question is, is Pokemon Go causing any issues with government people? Now nah, they can just answer the question, pay attention, and play the game still. And they got this all on lockdown. Amazon is starting a site offering research reviews and other information on new and used cars. Amazon vehicles won't sell cars, but in addition to car specifications and images, videos, and customer reviews, the site will let customers ask each other questions about their cars. Like, do you own this car? Yes. Does this car need maintenance um, a lot? Of course it does. It's a piece of crud. So that's the kind of questions that people will be asking more than likely. Which will be pretty good if you ask me. That will make a lot of people's lives a little bit easier when they come trying to buy a used car. Uh, It seems like a Nigerian man is being charged with a breach of peace because he named his dog after the country's president. Making it worse, the man painted the Nigerian president's name on both sides of the dog and paraded it up and down a busy street. I don't know, is that trying to say that your president is a dog, basically? Or what is that? I don't see what's wrong. That could be showing national pride. If I named my dog Obama, I mean, a lot of people would be like, Oh, thanks, Obama. And my dog would be like, oh, hey, what's up? Hi, hi, hi. Oh, no, you, you just, okay. But that's just me. I, plus, too, I would never name my dog Obama. Murphy and Riley would never be Obama dogs. They're dog dogs. Dog dogs. Whatever, I'm, I'm getting off track now. A University of Pittsburgh student took a date to the rooftop and tried to press her by leaping from one rooftop to the other. He misjudged and became wedged between the two buildings. Aw, can you hear the wedding bells? I mean, impressed is only half of it. He totally nailed the landing, too. Olympic super swimmer Katie Ledke enlists to help the right fight Bryce Harper Wednesday when she threw out the ceremonial first pitch for the Washington Nationals game. Katie walked onto the field wearing, a, wearing her five Olympic medals and use Harper as a human metal rack before throwing the ball to home plate. Now that's what I'm talking about. Harper has a use other than playing baseball. He can be the Olympic metal rack for other superstars whenever they throw the first pitch from now on. 
This summer, France made a big, bold step to combat email addiction. It also actually made it illegal to work on an email on the weekends if your company has over 50 employees. I'm sorry. They're, make, they're making it illegal to work via email if you have too many employees. Cracking down on the real issues, right, France? That's right. A Purdue University etymologist professor has returned a copy of the Moths of the Limberlost that he checked out 60 years ago at age 8. Larry Murdoch checked out the book from the Linton Public Library in Western Indiana in 1956. He said he found the book in his box and returning it, it was the right thing to do. He also paid the 436 and 44 cent fine that came with it. Murdoch says the book is about what he loves, insects, and especially moths. And he guess he's trying to figure out why they ate all his clothes, too, I guess. Would-be re- would rescuers in China were almost scared to death when a man they believed to have drowned suddenly woke up. The man had been fishing in a river when over onlookers mistook him for a corpse and called for help. Man, people are weird these days. Fagin fishing people who are sleeping or drowning. What weirdos. And with that said, that is it for Irrelevant News. Here is new music by Sky Hill, and it's called Firefly, right here on 89.5 The Wave. 